Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota, located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 RAV4 Platinum. Now the most notable features on the Platinum is its 360 degree backup camera, its kick assist, power liftgate, as well as its heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 RAV4 Platinum. Let's get started. To start, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the Platinum package. One of them being is your LED headlights, as well as your auto daytime running lights, fog lamps, and if we just take a look on your front grill, you're going to see your front facing camera for your 360 degree backup camera. You also have your parking sensors just located on your rear or front bumper. Sorry. You have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Located on your mirrors here, you have your integrated signal lamps as well as your vortex generators. And just underneath, you're going to see the other camera for your 360 degree backup camera. On the inside of your mirror here, you have your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring, if uh, there is a vehicle that comes up uh, right beside you, this indicator will actually light up, just alerting you that there is a vehicle there. And then with the Platinum package, it has the smart key system as well as the push button start. So with the smart key system, you can actually lock all four doors simultaneously just by pressing on these two little lines you see here on the door handle. It'll lock all the doors for you. Now if you do want to actually unlock the door for yourself, just put your hand between the handle and it'll open up automatically for you. Now this is all achieved uh, just as long as you have your key fob on you. Now with the Platinum package in particular, it also has them located on your rear doors as well. So if you want to lock the doors back here as well, you can do so. Now, the nice thing with the Vortex generators is that you can actually, they actually um, assist with the aerodynamics of the vehicle. You'll find them on your tail lamps. You also have your roof rack. And the color we're taking a look at today is Blizzard Pearl. Now, to start off with, we're gonna be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so that you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your power driver seat with lumbar support with your leather seat interior. Now if we just take a look over on the side here, you're going to see your mirror controls as well as your lane departure alert, heated steering wheel, all-wheel drive lock, and power liftgate opener. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls as well as your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on your steering wheel are your volume control, you have your scroll function, Bluetooth mode select, voice recognition, and then you have your scroll function for your multi-informational display with your cruise control. Now the nice thing with the Platinum package, again, is that it has that push button start. So all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you. Now the other great thing about the driver's side is that you have this nice multi-informational display. You have an exterior temperature gauge, but you can go through many of the different menus through here. One of them being is uh, your distance to empty as well as an eco indicator, all-wheel drive indicator, and your sway warning control. Now you can also go through your navigation as well as your audio, your cruise, messages, and then you can adjust your settings for your lane departure alert, your pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring to turn on and off. Now when your blind spot monitoring is turned on, that indicator will actually light up and then there will be a little beep that goes off inside the cabin. You turn on and off your park assist, and then your power lift gate settings and meter settings. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. If you take a look at the very top, you're going to see your hazard lights. And then for 2017, they actually added in indicators for your rear passengers. So parents, if you're worried about your kids not buckling up, this indicator will actually light up until they actually buckle up their seat belts. Traction control on and off. And then if we actually head into your apps menu, you're going to see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features with your dual zone climate control located down below with your heated uh, front and rear uh, window. Located just underneath, you're going to see your eco and sport mode with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. You also have your window wiper, de-icer, USB, and your two power outlets. Matted to a six-speed automatic transmission. If we take a look at the very top, you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And at the very top, you're going to see your power open and closed and your tilt up and down for your power moonroof, just in case you do want to have a bit of a breeze flowing through here. You also have your sunglass case holder when it's quite bright outside. And if you do forget your sunglasses, you do have these visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side. Now I'm just going to quickly show you what your 360 degree backup camera looks like. The nice thing with the 360 degree backup camera is that you can see an aerial view of your vehicle. So when you're actually backing up or actually going forward for instance, so if you wanted to actually have it shown going forward, if you hit this little button that's just located at the very top here, 
you can see a front view of your vehicle. So if you're in a parkade, for instance, and there's not a lot of space, then you can see exactly how much room is in front of you. And then it's just the same when you actually go into reverse as well. So you can see how much room is behind you, but you can also readjust the line segments to show up just on your backup camera as well. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on the back of your rear bumper. You're going to find your parking sensors just located right across it. On the back of the tailgate, you'll see your backup camera just on your left hand side. The rear hatch release will be located just underneath the Toyota emblem here. Now for the 2017 Platinum, they uh, added a new feature. It's the kick assist power lift gate. So if we actually just take a look just underneath here, you'll actually just see the sensor just located right there. So to actually open up the vehicle, all you have to do is just actually place your foot underneath there. And then it will open up the power tailgate for you automatically. So if your hands are full of groceries and that, just from going store to store, all you have to do is just put your foot underneath and it will actually open up automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so that you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now with the Platinum package you also get a tonneau cover as well. So if you're worried about people seeing what you have back there, once it's covering up everything in the back they won't be able to see much back there. Now you also have a cargo net as well. So if you uh, have a lot of loose cargo you can place it inside here as well. Now the nice thing with this cargo net is it's readjustable. So you can actually readjust it to these little um, notches that you can see on the side there. If you do want to hide away some of your valuables in the floor, there is some floor storage just located underneath. And if we just take a look at the very front here, you're going to see your spare tire as well as your jack and your toolkit. But the nice thing about this space is that you can actually store your tonneau cover underneath here as well. So rather than uh, taking out your tonneau cover just because you have a lot of uh, cargo that sits a little bit higher and it's in the way, you can have it stored in here rather than taking it out and putting it into your garage. Now for whatever reason, if you do need to readjust the height for your power lift gate, say you want to have it open up at this height. Hold down on this button for approximately two seconds. It'll beep once, and then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height for you. Now, if you do need to reset the height back to its maximum, hold down on this button for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height for you. Now, a couple of the uses for that power lift gate is if you're a little bit shorter, you can readjust the height, or if you have a lower end garage, you can readjust the height just so it doesn't smack the top of your garage and possibly damage the back of your tailgate. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.